Hundreds of United States companies are being caught every year illegally employing thousands of children across the country. In one recent case, more than 100 children were found working in the dangerous jobs for one of the largest food sanitation companies in the U.S. Experts say it shows that the U.S. authorities are just ignoring their own laws against child labor. And they ask how the U.S. can call itself a beacon of human rights while failing to protect its own children. The recent case involved a slaughterhouse cleaning firm called Packard Sanitation Services Incorporation. The U.S. Labor Department said at least 102 children, ranging from 13 to 17 years old, worked overnight shifts using hazardous chemicals and cleaning meat processing equipment, including back saws, brisket saws and hat splitters. At least three minors suffered injuries. And it wasn't just in one slaughterhouse. The children were employed by the company in at least eight states. We are finding children working in manufacturing, in um, slaughterhouses, in meat processing facilities. Um, and, and those are just dangerous conditions. Those are dangerous conditions for adults, um, but they're prohibitively dangerous conditions for, work, for children who are working in the United States. The number of children being employed illegally has been steadily growing in the United States with a 69% increase since 2018. And last year, the U.S. Labor Department found that 835 companies were employing about 3,800 children in violation of labor laws. This is very widespread it's in all 50 states. It's in factories, agriculture, child, domestic household labor, construction, you name it, it's there in your community. Child labor in the U.S. has a history as long as that of slave trade and racial discrimination. And its mines and tobacco farms have been exploiting child labor for over 100 years. However, the highest civil penalty for hiring a child laborer is only 15,000 U.S. dollars, which can hardly be called a deterrence. Meanwhile, what makes things even worse are some loopholes in its legal systems and lack of legal enforcement. For example, the laws in the U.S. forbid children under 14 from working in most areas but make agriculture an exception. Some say more young people have been pulled into the workforce due to the post-COVID pandemic labor shortages. But some U.S. experts say the country just simply turned a blind eye to the invisible workforce largely made up of migrant children. If we have an increasing number of minors coming across the border, and locally we have rising uh, prices and rising rents, then we're gonna have more people willing to do whatever it takes to survive. And when that happens, employers can exploit that. Experts say child labor is the only tip of the iceberg of the US violation of children's human rights. The country's inadequate fight against the COVID-19 pandemic caused over 200,000 children to become orphans. And the United States is the only UN member that has failed to ratify the Convention on the Rights of the Child, for which has been criticized many times by the international organization.